Okay, so we got our piece of aluminum milled. Everyone's wondering what the heck are you doing all that for, right? Well, let me show you. A viewer of the channel stopped by and gave me a couple of gifts. He gave me a lathe dog for the lathe, a nice Armstrong. I do have a lathe dog, but nothing that'll hold stock that big. So this is going to be uh, tremendous to have around here. Ron, thank you very much. I showed him the little mill. We talked about the problems that I had with it. I told him I didn't have a milling vise. He suggested I come over to his shop, take a look at uh, his operation. And he mentioned to me that he had a couple of milling vices, some that he doesn't use, and to come by. So I went by, and he said he rarely uses this, and it looked like it would be perfect for my machine. And actually it is. And he offered this to me as a gift to get the mill up and running. So Ron, thank you very much. So I'm going to go ahead and machine this aluminum into some low profile clamps to go ahead and hold down the vise to where I can go pick up a, a piece of steel and go ahead and make proper ones. All right, so that's the basic shape of the clamp. So I'm going to go ahead and machine all this black material away. Well, after seeing this contraption, now you know why I'm very anxious to go ahead and make some low-profile clamps to go ahead and hold this down to the table. What a mess. I'm not really sure if I can get you in there close enough to see, but we're right on uh, our mark here, both on the bottom and the side. So we're going to take it all in one shot. Not the best finish in the world on this back section.
Yep, climb milling just a couple of thousands off, really clean that up nice. Well, before I take this thing out, let me make sure that I've got all my measurements right. I need to come in under 3 eighths, and here we're at 358. Well, I think we're safe to go ahead and take it out now. Now, as you can see with all these strap clamps, this is not the proper way to be holding down a vise. Okay, so I'm happy with that. It's time to go ahead and split this guy up into four. But I'd say that's a really good fit. What do y'all think? Okay, I'm over here at the horizontal bandsaw. I'm not sure if this contraption's gonna work. I mean, it looks okay, but between you and me, my confidence level is about 5% on this working. But it's probably gonna be better than me holding this thing by hand. It is what it is. I'm going to take these over to the mill, square these things back up, and see what the final size is going to end up. I don't have any uh, parallels, so I'm using high-speed steel. It's not optimum, but it's what I got. And now that I have these things square again, I'm going to go ahead and mill all four at the same time and get these all the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a one, two, three block. Well, I'm pretty happy with the outcome of the milling. It's really a shame this uh, aluminum that I had cast a long time ago is a little bit compromised, but hopefully it'll be strong enough to hold down this milling vise. And the little setup worked pretty good. But let me go ahead and get these four pieces cleaned up and see what it's going to take to go ahead and pop a hole in these and put a slot in them. Well I think that's uh, pretty much as good a fit as I was hoping for. So I'm going to go ahead and advance the x-axis half the diameter, which is 250 thousandths. I'm going to take another measurement on this. We'll move in half of that, and that should put me right in the center. These things are pretty interesting. That looks pretty dang good. I want the slots in these uh, little clamps to be all the same length so when you put them side by side it looks like a matched uh, set. I've got a dial indicator set up to measure the travel of the table going in the Y direction. I don't have any parallels like I mentioned earlier so I have nothing supporting this work and my concern is I'm 
I've got a center kit I've got a center cutting 5 16 end mill I'm going to attempt to plunge straight down and then move over 3 eighths of an inch so I'm not sure how that's going to work but wish me luck hmm I don't think I'm liking that okay I swapped out to a, a quarter inch center drill so we're gonna go ahead and center drill this and then drill it out with a 5 16 I'm thinking I should have put this part sideways so I'm not liking all that chatter well I think what I decided to do was to forego having a slot I think that's just going to be the easiest thing for me to do it's not what I wanted to do 